so in this video we'll be talking about the design which created a lot of buzz in 2020 so hey guys i'm saban from pixelcoded.com and today in this video i'll show you how you can create neomorphism or which is also known as soft ui in html and css so to be very specific we will create this design in this video so let's get started so i am in my vs code and i have created a new index.html file so let's press exclamation mark and then tab and we will get this basic boiler plate of html so for we have to include icons in our html so for that let's import the font or some cdn into the html so i'll search for font or some 5 cdn and I'll import one of them. So let's uh, just copy script tag and I'll paste it in here. And we have imported the font awesome. So let's create basic structure. So first of all, I add add a container, and then inside the container we will add two boxes for the icons. So let's uh, create two boxes. Uh, I will create them. with the class name boxes and let's add some icon in our html so i'll go to font or some website icons and let's uh, search for a oops let's search for a user icon this will work for us let's just copy it paste it in your html and for the second icon let's search for mail so i'll select this envelope icon copy paste so we are done with the html part so for the sake of this project i'll not create a separate css file i'll just simply use the style tag in the file so let's add styling for body I'll add margin zero, padding zero, background to hash e f e f. Sorry, e four e four e a, and uh, display flex justify content center align items. center now let's open our html file in the browser so i'll drag and drop it here okay i'll add height to 100 vh cool now let's add styling for container display flex and now finally we will add the css for our boxes field which will be neomorphic effect so i'll add boxes i'll make it uh, width 100 pixel i'm let's add a border radius of around i think 10 pixel will work and let's see our progress okay cool so now let's add the main part that is shadow part so i'll add box shadow so first of all we will add the white shadow so i'll add minus 5 pixel minus 5 pixel and blur of 10 pixel and then rgba to 
0.8 opacity and then I'll add an another sh dark shadow 5 pixel 5 pixel spread of around 15 pixel RGBA 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma and opacity of 0 0.1 and let's see how it looks okay so you can see like like we started getting a cool neomorphic effect in our design so i'll play a little bit with the shadow so i'll make the make it a little darker to around 0 0.15 opacity and i'll also add an inset shadow inside the box so i'll just First of all, let's add white shadow at the bottom. So I'll so I'll add inset minus maybe two pixel minus two pixel spread of around six pixel RGBA. It will be white. So two five five comma two five five comma two five five and opacity of zero point eight. And now now we will add a darker shadow at the inner side of the box at the top so inset 2 pixel 2 pixel and 6 pixel RGBA 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 point 1 and let's see so as you can see we have a very cool neomorphic effect in our design so now let's create a simple hover effect so what i will do is first of all add a transition i'll add a transition of 0 0.3 second and then dot boxes hover and i'll copy this box shadow part and i'll paste it here and then i'll remove these two outer shadows just delete them and what we will do is increase the intensity of both the inner shadows so I'll increase the blur to around 10 pixel of the white shadow and we'll make it 4 pixel 4 pixel also this one 4 and 4 and let's increase the blur to around 15 uh, I will I think 15, 10 pixel will work let's refresh it and now let's see the hover effect so as you can see we are getting a very cool hover effect in this I think I should also increase font size a little bit to make it look more cool so I'll increase the font size to around somewhat 30 pixel I think I will look okay so now it's looking very cool as you can see here we have a very cool hover effect as well so this was the video of how you can create a neomorphism UI using HTML and CSS so I hope you like this video and if you have liked this video you can hit the thumbs up button and do not forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos I'll see you in the next video till then goodbye